Water is one of the most important and abundant resources on Earth. It is shared across all borders, between all races and religions, across continents and between species. As we move into the 21st century, the management of the world's water resources is increasingly challenging. The growth in the human population, along with changes to the way we live, consume and produce, as well as dramatic shifts in the climate, all conspire to place pressure on the planet's water resources. At the center of our engagement with all of these issues is IHE, Institute for Water Education, a unique global facility that educates and trains professionals and organizations across the globe to develop knowledge, skills and capacity. The Institute is the largest international graduate water education facility in the world. Since it was founded in 1957, it has trained more than 14,500 water professionals from 160 countries. At the heart of the program are four MSc courses in water management, environmental science, urban water and sanitation, and water science and engineering, attended by about 200 students annually. You should take home. The course is very demanding, but uh, when you take your time and read and understand, it's, it's manageable, but it's really intense. You really have to put all other things aside and concentrate on the studies. It's, it's really, really wonderful. Uh, I, I'm impressed with how, how enhancing it is for, for a human being to be here. They like to, to build up this, this culture of Africa, bring you the culture of Asia, and, and so you, you really enhance us personally as well. The Institute also conducts wide-ranging research into water management and the environment. Around 150 PhD fellows are also enrolled at IHE. Many are conducting problem-focused research into solving specific water challenges affecting their part of the world. Mainly we focus on Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, we also have work going on in Asia and South America. But our mission, the mission of IHE, is not to focus on uh, the developed world, or is to focus on the developing world. That's where the capacity problems are, that's where the research gaps are, that's where very often the governance structures are very weak. So, so, so our mission is to try to support, uh, through good research and through good science, the development and capacity building and the educational needs of a whole range of countries. The Institute works collaboratively through a huge network of alumni and global partners. Its impact can be seen all around the world. Uh, she has been working with Universidad de Valle for 20, 30 years now, both on, on, on the education and, and building the, the capacity and the, the, the community here in, 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 in Cali, in this region, but also impacting on the, on the institutions and helping them think to how do we address the water management issues in this country. Our students go with this new mindset. Uh, technology is one of the factors, but it's not usually the main one. There are social aspects, there are economical aspects, there are even political aspects that should be taken into account when facing these problems. We're not here to convince people how to do things or not. We're here to help people think how can we approach, let's say, managing the, 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 the water resources in the country. And I think you see now that 
this institute together with with other institutes, they're out in the rural communities improving the sanitary situation for for these rural communities. And we just play a role in supporting the development of that. I think that's the role of, of IHE. I mean, we don't want to do it ourselves. We want to have, work with the people here to, uh, to get that in place. Water in the Middle East is uh, a hot topic. It's uh, getting more and more tense in uh, Palestine. It's one of the world's most uh, poor countries in terms of water. So now the Palestinians in general are struggling to secure their water needs. In 1994, uh, the first initiative for building Palestinians' capacity in water supply and sanitation uh, was by IHE Delft. Gradually we started taking the responsibility from the Dutch and now we have full hands on, we have only Palestinians in the program, but yet we are maintaining good record of collaboration with IHE in research, education, curriculum development and capacity building. Now we have about 80 MSc students registered at Birzeit University for uh, water and environmental engineering. We have graduated more than 200. Now, the alumni of Birzeit University and the alumni of IHE are almost in every organization or institutions, and they are all having leading positions related to the water. Research-wise, we focus on applied research that target people on the ground, that target improving the water supply and sanitation sectors in the country. We have around 60 million cubic meter of wastewater every year. Only 6% of that is treated and the rest is discharged untreated to, to the environment. Indeed, our recent research clearly shows that our drinking water is mixed with sewage. IHE is playing a key role. When we started working a few years ago here, we did not have any basic data about the wastewater. Like, we don't have any data about the characteristics of the wastewater, the quantity of the wastewater, and that was a major uh, problem in the field. The output of our research is already used for the design of the plants like this you see. The new technologies that we are developed are now increasingly adapted by NGOs and non-governmental organizations who are constructing such plants. Kanta is uh, your typical estuarine city. The average elevation of the city is about half a meter above the sea level. So that means if there is a sea level change, mean sea level change of about 50 centimeters, the city is going to be practically underwater. The project is generally about climate change adaptation. So it's all about getting, uh, getting ready for climate change and to face climate change in a responsible fashion. The uncertainty is unlimited. Higher and higher, the water level, uh, rainfall intensity and exposure and uh, you know the impact from upstream you don't know what happened in the future we are we are the connectors actually that is what we do it's not about uh, bringing European knowledge or bringing Western knowledge to the uh, developing world no it's not about that it's about linking people. It's all about linking people, linking minds. So the people, the livelihood is the center of our research, not the water. The real interaction and impact of water and people, with the people in the center. The primary objective of the project is to make a real impact on the urban development process in the city, to bring the water agenda into the urban development scheme of things. Because even though we water scientists would love to think that water is the center of the world, in uh, urban development it is not. Our dream in Kanta 
is to influence the urban development process in a very real way, enhancing the livability of the people and the sustainability of the environment. We want to create leaders, managers who will think beyond the box, who will look at scenarios beyond their, their, uh, their, their, their happenings, and who will come up with solutions which are beyond the traditional solutions, where they can become more innovative and therefore produce sustainability in terms of water management and water resources. You get to meet everyone from all over the place and they really emphasize on teamwork so you learn how to work to work with people from all over the world with different ideas different cultures different religions it's, it's not just geared towards learning like how much can you memorize from a book but it's more of how can you apply the knowledge that you have how can you um, just grow socially um, and yeah so for me that was a big takeaway I want to be able to use the knowledge that I've gained to, to apply it and to be able to help people get the water that they need. And not just water, but be able to get the resources that they need and to be able to apply, to use what they have around them to be able to make their lives better.